police hurry to America's House of Representatives in Washington following an attack by three Puerto Ricans, including Rafael Miranda, who fired on the senators in the chamber. Fellow gunman Andres Condero and the woman member of the trio Lolita Lebron are hustled away from the menacing crowd. Firing more than 20 rounds from their Luger automatics, the three fanatics seriously wounded five senators. Ambulances are rushed to the capital, along with doctors from a nearby naval hospital. Alvin Bentley, wounded near the heart and in the stomach, is carried out while police push our cameraman aside. Bentley's condition is still reported as critical. Clifford Davis, a Democrat leader, was wounded in the right leg. In the excitement, a doorkeeper, William Belcher, suffered a heart attack. Republican Ben Jensen received several severe wounds in the back. Many other congressmen escaped death by inches in the chamber. And Representative Halleck shows where a bullet ripped into his desk. Another round splintered the back of a congressman's chair. Representative Van Zandt, who helped capture one of the gunmen, points out where a bullet smashed through a chair seat after wounding one of the congressmen. Police demonstrate how a Luger was hidden in Lolita Lebron's handbag when she entered the visitor's gallery before the attack. The other assailant's guns are held as evidence. At police headquarters, reporters learn that a fourth member of the team, Irving Flores, has been arrested. Another Puerto Rican has since been accused of threatening to kill President Eisenhower. Still defiant and still unrepentant, Mrs. Lebron and her partners made the attack to draw attention to Puerto Rico's demands for complete independence. Now all three assailants are awaiting trial for attempted murder.